CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. Hi, CSIers. This is the Manila Times Celebrity Style Inspiration. The Manila Times entertainment and lifestyle pages come to life across the Manila Times digital platforms. Ako po si Tessa Mauricio Ariola, and I would like to start off by thanking everyone for supporting our episode last week with SB19. Pasensya na rin po kayo kung ang nasasabi ko lagi ay 18s, uh, whereas 18 lang pala dapat ang tawag sa fans ng SB19. So I will just call you 18 fans. Uh, thank you for the correction and I hope the 18 fans will continue to join us every Thursday on CSI. We've got a packed episode for you and we're starting right now. CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Let's take a look at this week's winners and downers. First up, a downer was the Metro Manila Film Festival's removal of Film Development Council of the Philippines Chairman Lisa Dino Seguera from its Executive Committee. In a letter signed by MMFF's overall chairman Danilo De La Lim, the organization cited that the actress and the presidential appointee's actions are inimical to MMFF and reek of conflict of interest. In a statement sent to the Manila Times, Dino, who is also a columnist of the Sunday Times magazine, said, to say that I am in disbelief is an understatement. She emphasized that though the MMDA and FDCP did not always see eye to eye, the FDCP has always supported the festival. Last Friday, Taylor Swift released a surprise album called Folklore, which she had written and recorded while under isolation. The album proved to be a winner. It received great reviews from fans and critics alike who said that Taylor went back to the calmness and storytelling style roots present in her early albums. Another major downer would be the deaths of many Hollywood figures which all happened these last few days. From Hollywood's golden age, two-time Oscar winner Olivia de Havilland died at 104 due to natural causes. Best known for his roles in the classic films Nightmare on Elm Street and Enter the Dragon, John Saxon died of pneumonia at 83 years old. Peter Green, Fleetwood Mac's blues guitarist, also died in his sleep at 73. He was one of the band's original members who gave the band his name. Finally, iconic TV host Regis Philbin had died of natural causes at 88. He was most popular for hosting Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? May they all rest in peace. But let's end this segment with a winner. Due to its overwhelming popularity, the BL series Game Boys on YouTube has been extended to the excitement of their fans, The Third Wheels. Originally set for 10 episodes which premieres every Friday, three new ones are in the works as well as a full-length movie. To know more about what makes the Game Boys so cute, cool, and well-loved by fans around the world, check out our previous episode with the lead stars Elijah Canlas and Cocoy de Santos. And that's it for this week's winners and downers. Stand by for our certified CSI report. certified CSI report with Christina Alpad. Hi Tina Pai, what do you have for us this week? Hi Misty, this week I have certified all-around hosts. Go Tina! The pandemic may prohibit them from shooting outside pero ang host ng Jimmy Public Affairs ay handang-handa ng maghatid ng bago at timely stories straight from their homes. Pero Wilson Fernandez, Tony Petgaba, and Juan Liliano are part of Jimmy News TV's fresh weeknight offering New Normal, The Survival Guide, with their respective shows Homework on Thursdays and Family Time on Fridays, the gentlemen share that hashtag the struggle is real sa kanilang taping from home. Let's watch this. Uh, a new endeavor for all of you. Paano po yung process ng producing ng per episode? Are you gonna do it by yourself? Are you gonna take your own um, scenes? Nag-upgrade po ba kayo ng inyong equipment? 
Are you gonna edit? Who's gonna taking? Who will take care of all of it? <laughs> Ring light is life. <laughs> Ring light. <laughs> That's the new hashtag. Uh, Ring light <laughs> is life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you're looking at it, all of us. We, we, you're looking at the produ. Well, we're not the producers or the writers, but we're everything else: lighting, DOP, floor director, uh, researcher. Glam team, uh, go go for glam, glam team. team. It's it's back to the basics, you know. Uh, we're all filmmakers at heart, so I I kind of like the challenge, and I love working with uh, my new re uh, our new producers because they're young guys and they have vision and and uh, you know they're challenging us with some of these shots, and we have to set them up ourselves. So your shows are bringing service to the public, pero meron din ba kayong nakukuha in doing these shows during this time? Oh yes, and daming take away, marami rin take away. Um, it's actually it's actually highly therapeutic for us. Kasi may value na ulit kami to to express, to show um, stories, to show stories, diba? to tell stories and nakakatuwa kasi um, like what Robinson said, back to basics ang mood ang kamada. Uh, back to main basics, uh, mold on, uh, and, and to, to merge that discipline alongside the uh, yung discipline mo ng sa broadcasting at sa pagshoot at sa paggawa ng isang programa, tapos i um, isama mo sa situation na ito and present it as one shiny package. Uh, or episode sa kanila. It's, it, it's actually very interesting. Wondering what to put on your watch list next? Here's our Manila Times pop culture columnist and reviewer Karen Kunawiks for her suggestion. If there is one action star in the spotlight right now, that is probably Charlize Theron. She is in Netflix's new action film called Old Guard. It's based on a comic book written by award-winning writer Greg Rucka. It tells the story of a band of immortal warriors as they weave their way through history, and Charlize Theron is their leader, Andromache of Scythia. It is also the first comic book, uh, comic book film to be directed by a woman, that is Gina, Prince Bythewood, and it also has two characters, Joe and Nikki, who play uh, lovers, very bonded lovers who have been together with each other over centuries. And I don't know if I've ever seen a uh, an action film with two men involved with each other this way. And Charlize has been uh, researching um, fights, and she does her own stunts, and she actually had this to say about one of her least favorite fighters, which is uh, Steven Seagal. She saw an old video of him uh, in Japan fighting and she says he's overweight, he's just pushing people, he's barely fighting and it looks ridiculous. She says she can say these things about Steven Seagal because um, he's not very nice to women owing to his harassment allegations uh, not too long ago. So apart from that, apart from her saying these things in the uh, on the Howard Howard Stern show. Uh, there's also additional spotlight on her this month because Comic-Con 2020, Comic-Con at Home, has a panel called Charlize Theron, The Evolution of a Badass. And the New York Times also has an article called The Pleasure of Watching Charlize Theron Throw a Punch. Charlize Theron will be in, uh, I mean, her next two films are F9, or the ninth film in the Fast and Furious uh, franchise and Atomic Blonde too. We also know that she's uh, done an amazing job as well as Imperator Furiosa on Mac Ma Mad Max Fury Road. I hope there's a sequel to that too. This is Fangirl signing out. Bye. It has been challenging to keep a positive mindset dahil nasa pandemic pa rin tayo. 
However, turning to great entertainment, whether it be through TV, movies, or kahit mga funny vlogs and videos on YouTube and Facebook have truly helped us all. The T-Zone was part of an online media con with one of the country's most iconic personalities who, through these dark times, continues to do his best to bring laughter and cheer to Filipinos everywhere. Even Congress' rejection of ABS-CBN's franchise renewal cannot stop the uncabogable superstar from reaching out to his countless fans. CSIers, may I present to you Vice Ganda. Please welcome the uncabogable and the phenomenal box office superstar, Vice Ganda! Yeah! Hey. Hello, Hello man. Nung nagkaroon ng lockdown, ang dami kong gustong gawin na hindi ko magawa kasi wala namang... Una, hindi kami nakaka-ere sa showtime at that time dahil lockdown nga. So, kailangan mong makahanap ng paraan kung paano mo makaka-reach out sa audience kasi yun ang, yun ang binigay din sa aming directive dati sa ABS. Sabi niya, ngayong uh, naka-lockdown, lahat, na kayo, lahat kayo nasa bahay. Sabi ni Tita Corrie at saka ni LMD, you still have to find a way to reach out to your audience. Hindi kayo pwedeng mawala sa kamalayan nila at hindi pwedeng hindi nyo maserve yung purpose na sineserve nyo dati sa kanila. So, the only way is through digital. So, during the lockdown, especially when ABS uh, was not airing, parang uh, a lot of people migrated to digital. So I started um, doing a uh, test broadcast. Sa, kasi hindi naman ako mad- although nag nag Facebook live ako before once in a while pero sobrang limit. So tinay ko try ko nga kung paano kung anong kung bongga ang ganap sa Facebook live kasi marami na ako nakikita nang nagla-live. Tapos yung nag-test broadcast ako na sinwala lang nasa kwarto lang ako tapos kausap ko lang si MC tapos naka-live kami. Thousands of viewers. 30,000 viewers, ganun, 20,000 viewers. Sabi ko, ang dami namang nanonood. So sabi ko, parang, ba't di kaya ako talagang mag-show? So, tininay namin yung GGV na laro-laro lang. Tapos, yung tininay namin for the first time yung, yung gabing-gabi na Vice, um, yung tininay namin for the first time yung gabing-gabi na Vice, 50,000 viewers yung nanonood sa amin nung, nung, nung sinimula namin. Tapos, uh, as I ended the, the video, More than 1 million viewers ang nanood sa amin. Tapos, 1.5 million comments sa loob ng isa't kalahating oras. Kasi sabi ko, ang lala naman ito. So, might as well do it regularly para uh, nakakaaliw. Na, na, naaaliw ko pa rin yung audience ko kasi walang way eh. Hinahanap nila ako sa TV. Naghahanap sila ng good vibes na pwede kong ipigay sa kanila. But there was no way. So, sabi ko, ito yung, ito yung paraan. And then... Nung sabi ko nga, ang daming pwedeng explore sa ano sa digital world. So, kailang, ito yung challenge kasi eh. Ito yung challenge ngayon ng new normal at yung challenge ng lahat ng nangyayari sa paligid. We as artists definitely have to find our ways to reach out to the audience and to uh, serve our purpose to them. Hindi. Hindi ko siya matagal. Matagal na siyang sinimulan, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, nung sinimulan namin yung Vicegunda.com before, uh, a few years ago, pero hindi ko siya napangatawanan. Tapos hindi ko siya nat- naisipan gawin ulit until nung nag-lockdown. Tapos nung uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, uh, problema yung uh, franchise ng ABS. So I, I needed to think of a way kung paano magkakaroon ng platforma para sa akin na ipagpatuloy ko yung dati kong ginagawa. Um, it's all about good vibes. Marami akong content na ipopost na uh, nagwi-wish na makapagpasaya ng mga manonood. Maraming uh, bagong digital programs na nagagawin ako na magpapatawa sa inyong lahat. Merong, uh, uh, yun nga, yung Gabing Gabing na Vice, the usual uh, late night talk show. Tapos yung price ganda, yung um, game show na gagawin natin. Tapos yeah. meron din akong na uh, sitcom na binubuo kaming mga bakla tapos um, ano pa ba uh, may documentary din akong ilalabas 
marami, marami. Uh, isusurprise wow. nyo every now and then. So, i-click nyo itong site tuwing to to papasok kayo rito sa ano sa The Vice Ganda Network. Meron kayong bagong makikita. Yun yung, wow. ano, yun yung uh, promise namin sa ano sa mga magiging subscribers na. Um, kailangan nilang mag-subscribe. Kailangan nilang maging subscriber para maka... Ma- ma-view nila yung, ano, yung, yung mga contents. At saka para maging ano sila, um, um, eligible to be, ano, a, uh, to be part of the, of the game. Kasi lalo na dun sa, sa gabing-gabing na vice at saka dun sa price ganda, yung mga pa-premium, mas malaking makukuha ng viewers. Pero hindi ka pwedeng, hindi ka pwedeng manalo, uh, hindi ka makakasali dun sa game kung hindi ka subscribe, kung hindi ka nag-subscribe. Napakadali lang na mag-subscribe Mag-register ka lang kung kunin pangalan mo at saka email and then you're done. Ganun na. So, um, definitely, mas malaya ako. Yung, yung mga napapanood dati sa maraming, marami, kung marami kaming ganap ng mga bakla na ginagawa namin sa mga live performances namin na mas malaya namin magaganap, magagawa dito. Um, tapos, um, parang TV rin siya somehow kasi merong regular schedule yung shows katulad ng Minavice at saka yung Price Ganda may regular may re- regularly mapapanood yan every week once a week mm-hmm. tapos yung iba naman um, parang parang sa mga Netflix di ba yung para siyang series yung ano marami siyang episodes kung mga season 1 tapos maraming episode katulad nung um, sitcom na gagawin namin mga bakla Uh, isang season siya of 10 episodes. Uh, yung ibang kwarto sa ano, dun sa bahay ko, ginawa na namin parang studio. Parang dun magaganap yung yung streaming. Tapos, yung isang townhouse ko, dun naman kami mag-shoot ng parang sitcom. Very limited pa yung mga galawan kasi ngayon eh. Katulad, uh, kunyari, um, yung ibang staff ko, naka-work from home lang din naman sila. So, puro connection lang through online ang ginaganap na. Ginaganap na. Sa ibang, ano, sa ibang content, kailangan ko ng director. Pero sa GGD, kailangan ko lang ng, ano, ng technical, ano, staff. At sya, staff. writer, meron din akong writer. Meron akong researcher, para nag-pre-interview dun sa guests. Yun lang. Pero ang director hindi kasi ano lang naman siya, isang isang shot lang naman ang kailangan. Mm-hmm. It's a very big responsibility, pero eh ganun talaga eh. Mas maganda na yung mabigat ka ng malaking responsibilidad kaysa sa wala kang responsibility at all. Diba? Hindi, hindi pwedeng umanga eh. Doon doon, hindi pwedeng umanga, hindi pwedeng palipasin ko yung oras na wala akong ginagawa. And It's the new normal, ang daming challenges, and kasama yun sa mga tinatanggap ng challenges. Uh, maka- at saka sa edad kong to, kailangan marami pa akong, marami pang madedevelop sa akin. At kasama to sa ano sa growth ko, yung mga challenges na hinaharap ngayon ng uh, pagpuput up ng, ng ganitong digital network. Hi. Hi, Tessa. <laughs> Hi, it's so nice to see you and congratulations sa bago mong um, website. Of course, Salamat. we're very excited to see that. Um, unang question ko lang, dalawa lang if pwede, ma- maiki lang yung una. Importanteng importante, pag glamour na glamour ka ba, nakasapatos ka? <laughs> Dito? <laughs> hindi. <laughs> diba? Pwedeng walang shoes, kaya hindi hindi sumasakit after ng show, ba diba? ang pa? Oo, oh, oh. at saka pag ano talaga, Tanggal agad ako ng sapatos, chinelas. Sakit na yung tuhod ko, te. <laughs> question, question ko lang, Vice, no? Of course, um, you know, when when bumalik yung mga noontime shows din, um, you know, but you didn't have an audience, parang iba lang yung feeling kasi, di ba? Iba, hindi mo nararamdaman yung energy na napapanood namin dati. But, paano mo yan nakukuha? Because I think artists also need yung... yung, yung yung feeling na nag-response sa kanila yung mga audiences nila. Pa, paano mo yan ma-feel and do you think you will really feel that through the chats? Um, are, are we talking about the shows that uh, we're going the, to launch online? Yeah, the shows that you're going to be launching online. Through the, kasi doon lang sila makakapagbigay ng, ng ano nila, ng reaction nila sa'yo and, and their comments. Yeah, doon kasi di ba merong uh, may, may engagement, uh, interactive siya. So, makikita mo yung mga reaksyon. 
the more the more reactions mas mas maganda unlike sa sa showtime wala naman kaming nakikitang ganun eh mm-hmm. kasi may, uh, may kasabay siyang online streaming pero hindi naman namin nakikita yung ano yung mga comments kaya masaya din tong online kasi nung ginawa namin dati nung nag Facebook live ako dami ang comments at nakakatuwa pag nagbabasa sa sobrang uh, pagbabasa mo nga ang laking oras yung kinakain ng pagpapa-shout out sa shout out palang happy happy na sila Madami. Um, na napaka-importante ng buhay. Ito yung pinaka, pinaka-importante sa lahat. Ito yung pinakakailangan nating alagaan bago ang iba pa. Kasi for the longest time, we have been so focused on material things. We have been so focused on other things other than life itself. Focus tayo sa pera, focus tayo sa fame, focus tayo sa social media, focus tayo sa ganyan. Pero sa pagkakataong ito, pwede mong bitawan lahat para lang pangalagaan mo yung kalusugan mo at yung buhay mo. Kasi yun ang pinakamahalaga. Kasi kung hindi mo, kung hindi mo masasave yung buhay mo at yung kalusugan mo sa panahong ito, eh mawawala lahat yan. So bago sila dumating, yung buhay mo muna talaga ang pinakamay value sa lahat. At saka, isa pang natut na, na, na-realize ko na kahit gaano ka maggaling-galingan at ka, kahit gaano ka kagaling, maraming bagay na hindi mo magagawa ng solusyon. At ang makakagawa lang yan ay Diyos. Kailangan ibigay mo to sa Kanya at magtiwala ka. Kasi kahit anong galgal ang gawin mo, kahit stressin mo yung sarili mo na bigyan ng solusyon ng isang bagay, yung mga bagay na ito, wala kang magagawa. Wala kang magagawa. Dahil ang tanging makakagawa nun, ay yung Diyos. Katulad yung pandemya, hindi mo yan masosolve eh. Ang tanging mag- magagawa mo lang eh, alagaan mo yung sarili mo, huwag kang dumagdag sa stress na dinudulot nitong pandemya at maniwala kang Diyos lang naman na ma- Diyos ang makakagawa ng paraan talaga nito. Diba? Kung baga dito sa mundo, magtulong-tulongan tayo kung paano natin mapapagaan yung buhay. Pero ang totoong magbibigay ng, ng pitik yan para tapos na yan, yung Diyos. Sa inyo lahat, again, maraming salamat. Sa Viva, maraming salamat. Boss Vic, um, kasi sila ang, ano, eh, sila ang nag, ano, nagbuo nito, nagbuo nitong media con na ito. Sila ang personal na nag-invite sa ating mga um, uh, press people and bloggers. Maraming maraming salamat. Uh, Mami June, maraming salamat po. Uh, Rufino, kay Boss Vincent, kay uh, uh, um, uh, Ma- Veronique, maraming maraming salamat. At, uh, sa lahat ng bahagi nitong uh, nitong uh, uh, digital network na binubuo natin sa sa Team Vice at sa mga taga Viva na, na tumutulong sa atin. Maraming 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 salamat. And that's it for today's The Tea Zone. Thank you very much to Vice Ganda and Viva Entertainment for their permission to use the video. And of course, do support and laugh your worries away by subscribing to Vice Ganda's Uncabogable website. We'll be right back. And that's it for this episode of the Manila Times CSI, Celebrity Style Inspiration. We would like to thank everyone who joined us tonight and a special shout out goes to music man Andrew Estalilia whose digital album Aguat ng Panahon with Iber Yentos is out now online. Do download a copy. Hello also to the Times Miss Tiny, Fina and Princess and the rest of Finance and Credit and Collection and Circulation for watching all of our team's output on the Manila Times Digital. Promise ko po, babatiin ko rin ho si Mika's dad ang uh, sabi po niya, kumpleto na raw po ang linggo niya tuwing napapanood niya ang CSI. We promise that next week, kasamang-kasama na po namin si Mika on screen. And finally, thank you very much to Tina, Isa, Nika, and Neil for getting another new normal episode of Ready for Free. We look forward to seeing you next Thursday here on CSI. That's it for now. Bye! to 
our YouTube channel for more episodes of the Manila Times CSI. See you!